Yeah, morning traders. Fairly lively market session coming through in Europe. Uh, flash crash coming through in the Nordic markets. Uh, did resonate coming through into European equities. Certainly the CAC in France uh, dropping pre quite precipitously, dropping about 2.5% off the bat, but it did come back. But as you can see here, we, we, we did close lower in European equity markets. Uh, US equity markets have given us a bit of a mixed picture for Asia. I mean, at one stage at its worst, we saw the S&P cash market uh, 40.62. So that was down about 1.7%. And in that last 90 minutes, we saw the buyers really stepping back in. I think if you look at S&P futures on the daily chart into 41.50 and below, uh, really good support. Uh, NASDAQ below 13,000, really good support in, in, in the futures market there as well. But really strong buying coming off the lows. I think in the last 90 minutes, the S&P rallied about 2.3%. We saw about the, the, you know, the NASDAQ rallying 2.6% higher off that. Good volume coming through, uh, certainly in, in S&P futures, two point, nearly 2.3 million spoos traded hands, 11% above the 30-day average in the cash there. So some good buying off those lows. Go into the F, into the rates market, you can see a little bit of selling at the front end. We've got one two yields up one basis point, but you go to the board to the back end, we've got tens trading 297 at the moment, up four basis points. Where the action has been is in being break-evens. We've seen inflation expectations moving down fairly sharply, and as a result, real rates have moved up very, very sharply indeed. Now, I think part of that is, is actually strengthening the US dollar as it goes into the G10 complex. You can see the US dollar up against pretty much everything, certainly against the Swedish, against the Noki, and the pounds dropped from around 125.80 for a European trade, uh, getting down to a low of sort of 125.78, around that kind of level as well. So there's where we've seen this sort of action coming through. And it's also weighed on the gold price. You can see here the gold price, you know, trading through the 100-day moving average, we've got down to a low of uh, 1853 uh, in spots. And certainly, yeah, that's been uh, heavily traded by clients as well. Obviously, all eyes on the Aussie dollar. We traded 7082, 7030, a bit of a range playing through there. The interesting thing is we go into that RBA meeting. We've got 14 basis points being priced in for this one. Going to June pricing, 36 basis points seems rich. 250 basis points of tightening for this year. Again, very rich pricing coming through, which could weigh on the US uh, on the Aussie dollar. At the same time, the market's very short as well. So this is going to be the interesting trade of the day. All eyes on the RBA meeting later on.